Battle Rat here coming at you with another playthrough. This time we're doing Warhammer Total War 2 in anticipation of Warhammer Total War 3 this February. Uh, I am playing a co-op campaign with my buddy Bear of the North. So it is kind of a long playthrough. I uh, chopped it up into a couple different uh, segments so there'll be several parts to this video. Anyway, here it is, and I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> I honestly didn't, uh, was not able to select my faction, so it's just, it defaulted to, uh, to the High Elves, I, but the High Elves are a good campaign, and, uh, yeah, uh, we, you know. You start which of, with a very rich city, yeah. Bothon. Absolutely. You do just fine. I oh yeah, one more thing. The thing, the thing about Tyrion, if you're not careful about the Dark Elves, they will kill you. Oh yeah, that's what I was just about to say, was that I have quite the task of <laughs> having to keep the Dark Elves at bay. For yeah, Malkith is insane. <laughs> yeah. I see him many times invade all front over and over. Even when I play, like turn 20, Call to pleasure or on my front door. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, I mean, I think, uh, yeah, Nagarond and, uh, Marathi. Marathi, those are some pretty good campaigns to play as well, like the Dark Elves and. and uh, Gosh, I hate Marathi. Yeah. Not because of her campaign mechanics, I mean, she's fine, but I just don't like her faction or her role playing of it. Mm -hmm. like, you're trying to be lol, aesthetic, and get the feel for it. Very, yeah. No, I just don't like the feel of it. Mm. I like Nagaron. Okay, okay campaign. Mm -hmm. Cause I do full recall because I love my doom stacks of monsters. Mm. And since all you have to do is fight in certain regions, and you get three monstrous units, it's pretty much the best way to snowball. Mm -hmm. I imagine beat. I will remember myself at playing Rakoff in the Vortex campaign, beating the High Elves by a tone 100. Like, I can't go all off one. Mm. Yeah, we'll see how much uh, I can conquer. I usually, I'm a pretty conservative. Uh, total hey, that player. perfect to the high elves because high elves. You can you can really two. consume the the land of uh, like uh, yeah like it's like a it's like a uh, <laughs> a paradox interactive game. Um, watching you conquer all of the land, basically. <laughs> You could say that. I mean, I'm a very fast play paced player. Like, I will rush to the enemies. <laughs> yeah. No, I usually, um, I tend to play fairly conservative. Probably too conservative. But then again, I I've been playing at, like, very hard on campaign setting, normal on battle. So, yeah, it has to be fast. Alright, alright. Gonna select some uh, technologies here and do a. Uh, hmm. Make sure to at least grab your starting region, region before you start torturing it out. Because <clears throat> he has slow pace. Mm -hmm. So you want to kill the starting enemy as fast as possible. Get England, get Talalisa and the Shining Syrian. Because the AI will take that region, the Shrine of Syrian, and you won't be able to get the bonuses from having a full province. Mm. But once you've done that, you can pretty much totally it out and play as, you know, slow. Yeah. So, yeah, probably first move would be to... Uh, Recruit some archers. Recruit, yeah, and then take uh, the and Jerry. Take out the two settlements and shrine the ceilings. 
as fast as possible. I will recommend going through England first, then the Shrine of Syrian, then tackling the Tower of Listen last. But then again, you can do what you want. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I was thinking. Uh, taking the Tower of Lysine second. Because they have the yeah. army only has seven units at Angerial. And their garrison is only five. Yep, so. and another thing, trying to see you right over there, you can kind of like, kind of settle it so you can get the full permit province bonus. And once you've done that, well, you're on your way. Absolutely. Man, my influence is still low. Yeah, you get to improve it over time. Okay, so what your goal as a high elf? Are you trying to conquer or claim all elf one? Uh, my goal is to yeah take the entire uh, donut. Donut, yeah, and then you know just get extremely wealthy through trade and. Power and influence. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's true. Quite set you off really well. Uh, I'm going to try to gain control. Uh, obviously, I'm going to try to collect all the pieces, see where that take me, and then, you know, try to get with my allies and kill off Grimgol. You know, all the bad guy. Grimgol, Malice. Um. Uh, what his name? Queek and Ikik. Ikik. Mm -hmm. Ikik Claw and Skaven Blight. Yeah. Of course, he a pain with his, with, with his nuke. Oh, yeah. And then the Undercities and all of that. So I have to be careful. I might just send a, a, um, suicide army in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. To, you know, take up their nuke slot, and then after you rush in the full army, yeah, because otherwise I'm going to get shredded by that nuke. Yeah. What should but be playing? Quick. <laughs> what? It should be fun playing uh, a lot of dwarf versus skaven battles. Oh yeah. But yeah. Basically, uh, establishing a bunch of trade agreements. And, uh, yeah, that good. We have the high elves all, all about trade and sitting in their donut. Mm -hmm. And then I'll try to keep the dark elves at bay and expand westward. And then I'll try to probably have some conflict with the uh, clan Skyer down there and mm -hmm. the Tilian Sea and and then the also the pirate. Uh, coast. Yeah. There. Yeah, we can meet up in in Asalia, pretty much. Yes, we will see how it plays out. I may try to uh, stay as west as possible, and then you can conquer as much of the Badlands as you want. <laughs> I'm going to conquer the Badlands, the World Edge Mountains, maybe the Grey, Grey Mountains, if the Empire of Britannia don't get it first. Mm-hmm. Then we can establish uh, trade across the southern straits and stuff. Yeah, I, I'm going to need the port Barak Fall in Blood River Valley. That's the only port the dwarves really have. Mm -hmm. So I need to get that. But first, I need to get Brightwater, the Eastern Badlands, and kill Grimgor. If he's not already dead. Mm -hmm. Kill all the Greenskins. Cause they need to die. Yeah. All of them. Ev everyone. All of those green skin need to die. And we probably, eventually, if the Empire can't be, can't rise to full potential, because either the Empire or Sylvania that will win in that area. So we need to beware of Sylvania. If they get, they kill the empire, then oof, going to be in tough battles. Yeah, the empire is a powerful ally, 
and they have a lot of common enemies with both elves and dwarves. <clears throat> so, and it's a giant shot. Ooh, yes. That is another campaign to play, is the, uh, like a wood elf co-op campaign. Oh yeah, with Daicho and, uh, what his name? Doofel. Do mm -hmm. Doofel? Yeah. I do like Daicho because I, I do love hounds. Like, the doggos of Warhammer is, is fun. Mm. They all, like, you can surround a whole army just like that. They collapse and morale just go to the bottom. <laughs> I very easily won many battles as Dreitra. Mm, mm -hmm. On hard difficulty. I never try very hard because, well, just because uh, I can't. <laughs> there, are only a, there are only a couple of campaigns where I can manage very hard because uh, it is total, total. Yeah, very hard can be quite. Especially when you're the bad guy. Yeah. Like, if you're the bad guy, then beware the older tide. <laughs> like, if I play, um, play the, um, what they call? Uh, yeah, the Wood Elves. If I play the Wood Elves, which are all neutral factions. In the lore. Yeah, they're neutral. Why? Yeah. I can't remember. When you kill off these gobbles, they're trying to frank us. Oh, me. Okay. Get the spiders, get the spiders. Oh, man. Pretty good battle. Oh, yeah. The dwarves are awesome with the new rune magic. Mm. They're actually playable. Mm -hmm. I mean, not like they won't be full, but you know, they were kind of bland. Yeah. Oh no, they pop out the law. Wog! Okay, that's going to take a while. Too. I hope I get Olga mercenaries. Oh, wow, Ted. Make sure he's dead. Archers, fire! Okay, they're dead. What's the unit so outing? Okay. I'm going win! That was a cool battle. Oh yeah, it's fun! 18 more second. Uh, no, we're going to win before I can pop up another Wrath of Ruin. I love that rune. Best ever. A lot of both damage. Of course, then they get... The Wind of Death from the Vampire Count Lol is one of my favorites also. Do you have a favorite spell in Warhammer? Like, favorite... I would say Alt one of my favorite spells. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna sound like such a noob, but I can't remember the name of the actual spell. But it's the one, um, like the lizard men, um, where the um, it's like the he's like some kind of spell priest lizard guy, and he, he drives right. around on the. Uh, He's got that hover seat that he hovers around on, and then he's got those three spells that cause massive, massive damage to. Uh... What do you remember of the cell? Does it cause a big comet, uh, vortex? It is like a giant uh, uh, explosion, damage explosion. Giant. Mm. Okay. Hmm. And there's like, oh, no. the, uh, there's a lot of good spells. I mean, um, a lot of good leadership spells and the warrior priests. I love the warrior priest battle prayer. Oh yeah, the warrior speeds. Oh, they're great. Do you remember what lore it was in? It was in lore, as in uh, 
Yeah, vampire, metal, shadows. Uh, well, so the warrior priest lore was in the Sigmar. Uh, lore was the... Uh... Oh, for it, the... Uh, your favorite spell in the Sim Simmall, like... Well, I think... With it, well, you know, it's like the... It's not really a spell, maybe it's like a, more like an ability. Like, you know, the warrior yeah. priest... Um, and it has the battle prayer, and it, you get, like, plus... Oh, uh, yeah, that... Yeah, that is ability, so... And, uh, and I think they get, like, a leadership bonus as well with those. And, yeah. I don't know what ability it is. Uh, I mean, it it's, it's sounds familiar to me, so... Alright, I secure my first region on turn 4. You still have one settlement. <laughs> I just find it a little bit funny that... Every game that we play, like, I'm very fast on taking my first region, and you take your time. I mean, there's nothing wrong with taking time. Yeah, I probably take too much time, but, um, I'm trying to build up. In the long run, probably. Probably. You never know. I'm just trying to, uh... Oh my gosh. Max out, um... Eesh. Uh, that going sucks. Ooh. I think one of the AI factions in all fun and going take one of your legions, the tower listen. Do you see that army nearby? The army? Uh... Near the tower listen. Near the tower oh yeah, it looks like they are. Yeah. Uh... yeah, they might just take that. Prince of yeah. Or they will lose and weaken it, and you can come right in and take it. Let's see if I can if I have the campaign movement range just to initiate the battle. And then you should have enough. So, and then they would actually act as my ally. And they should. Yeah. If they're the uh, ally. If not, then just try to take it. Because you have the archers, you have the chariots. I mean, you want to give me the cavalry, I will crush them with the cav for you. Yeah, let's do it. We'll try it. We'll do it. We'll break you out of your total shell. And then, uh, we'll Bring me fight battle. battle here. Looks like we got some pretty good terrain. And, uh, yeah. Alright, that is it for part one of this video playthrough of Co op Campaign Total War Warhammer 2. Um, that was a lot of work, there was a lot of audio issues in that video, um, so, but, there are more coming, uh, that was actually quite a long playthrough, several hours of co-op campaign with my buddy, Bear of the North, on Steam, and, uh, there will be more to come, so, thanks for watching this video, we'll see you next time.